Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm at home and I'm gonna cut up on some rocks. We've had some rain come through. It got everything wet, so not good to try and go out and rock hound in that clay out there. So let's just cut some stuff up. See what we find this time. And here we go. This is my first attempt trying to film cut rocks in this little studio I've set up. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully we'll be able to see the colors and everything. And I put this rag down to make sure I don't get the table wet. Starting things off with the good old bird's eye marble shell fossils. And, okay, there's a shell in there, but we've had better. <laughs> it's It's been completely replaced by calcite in there, more of a colorless to white variety, which is unfortunate because then the shell kind of lose some of that cool definition it can have in it. Here's a tiny little nodule of that bertrandite. Ooh, that one's dark. Very dark. <laughs> you can barely see anything. It is a dark purple. This was just sitting in my rocks, and I thought, oh, it kind of looks like a little geode. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm not so sure. Oh, not a geode. Something else. Probably just a regular old stream pebble. But the inside of it's kind of cool. This is a piece of that red agate that we found over by Levan. A little piece of it broke off there, and... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's actually really nice. Oh, there's some nice pattern in there, and you might be able to see a little bit of my finger through there. You've got a good amount of light coming through that. Wow, a lot of, a lot of cool pattern in there. we got the red and the black. So you definitely have the black agate, and then that red really adds to it. Another piece of the Vernon Wonderstone. Okay. Now this one you can tell it looks a little bit more grainy as we would say in geology. Like the little bits that are coloring it seem to be larger. Like larger grains of sand. And it doesn't look quite as pretty as the other ones. Also when I cut this it, w it was really soft. <laughs> so I kind of guessed it was going to be more like this. But still, I mean, it looks beautiful. This is a little piece of Jasper I found over by Enterprise, I wanna say. And I'm guessing the inside probably looks like the outside. Yes, it indeed looks like the outside. I mean, it still looks very pretty. I mean, the outside was beautiful, so I knew the inside was gonna look pretty. Yeah, interesting, that combination between the purple and the yellow. Pretty unusual. This was a little nodule I found out north of here where the barite is. And I heard that the, maybe there were fossils in some of these, so I figured I'd just cut one open just to see what we get. And that is just solid limestone. <laughs> There's nothing really there. All right, well, I'm not gonna waste any more time on these because I, I doubt they're really gonna have anything in them. This is a little piece of Jasper from Yellow Cat. And, oh, better inside than I thought. Oh, there's a little bit of yellow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it did have a fracture right there. <laughs> Still very neat. Here's another piece of the red agate we found near Levan. Oh, that one looks nice. Oh, look how clear that one is. That is neat. Yeah, I like this piece right here. That is a beautiful piece. Here's another little nodule of the Tiffany stone. Oh, hey, it's not as dark as the other. I like that one much better. It's got a little bit of yellow. Yeah, that one's cool. This is some red jasper slash agate I found I don't know where. One side was just absolutely fractured. But this side came out. Nice. Here's another piece of Wonderstone. Couldn't really see much from the outside, but when I cut it was really soft, so... Oh, it's a very nice pattern. Yes, that's got a great pattern to it. But you can definitely tell how it it's larger grains of sand. This was one of the pieces of Agate Jasper that we found at the Drum Mountains. And I thought, wow, that looks so cool right there. Let's cut it and see. And yes. Yeah, look at that. That is nice. 
It's beautiful stuff. You could definitely make something with that. And the final one for today is a piece of petrified wood, which again, I think came from Nevada. And here we go. Oh, not bad. Got a little bit of texture in there, some things going on. I've seen some better ones, but overall, this is not bad. And there you have it. A bunch of cool stuff again. Lots of neat stuff. I just can't wait to get into some of the other ones I've got. I have some bigger ones and some really cool looking ones just sitting on over there to get cut open. So we'll have to do those in the future. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.